Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm going to be putting some nails on my right hand. I have already put some full cover tips on with some um, rubber base gel underneath and I'm going to be using some of the colours from Madame Glam's Amour Tints collection. So that was their latest February collection which was like their Valentine's collection. So some gorgeous pinks um, like creamy colours and glitters in there. So I'm going to be using a couple of them just painting them on the whole nail. Um, but first I need to put some base coat on, so I'm doing that, I'm using the Madame Glam's base coat and this is just because up near where the cuticle area is I have filed um, a little bit so it's not completely smooth there so I have filed, um, I have sort of buffed that area but I just wanted to put a base coat on just so I've got a smooth layer and the gel polish goes on smoothly everywhere so that'll just fill in any gaps that there might be at the cuticle area and then I'm using my non-dominant hand so everything's taking me twice as long as it normally does so I'm being extra careful putting the gel polish on but that's also why I might go out a shot a little bit as well because sometimes I, I end up drifting um, and I don't notice that I've gone out of shot so I apologise for that if it does happen. So I'm putting the, um, it's the pink one, I'll put links to everything that I'm using in the description box because I can't remember all the colours off the top of my head so there's the gorgeous pink one that's going on two of the fingers the pinky finger and the pointer finger and then I'm putting um, I think it's called heart glow the sort of reddish one and that's going on the middle finger and then on the thumb and the ring finger I'm going to do a marble so I'm going to be putting some of the gel polish on my palette in, in lines and then I'm going to get a dotting tool and I'm just going to, I'll show you in a minute. So next I'm using, it looks white but I think it's a very very pale pink and it's called Loyalty I think and that one is going to go on my ring finger and my thumb and then I'm going to be putting some of the Blooming Gel on from Madame Glam and I'm not curing that, that is going to stay tacky, um, sorry that's going to stay wet. And then I'm using my Madame Glam ombre brush and I'm using a dotting tool and I'm just going to put some wiggly lines into this uh, these gel polishes that are on the palette. Now I shouldn't have mixed these up as much as I did because I ended up not really liking the marble because it was too sort of mixed together and I should have just left it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting some of the polish on my ombre brush and then I'm trying to float it over but my hand just wouldn't do as it was told because it was my non-dominant hand you're supposed to not brush it you're supposed to float it over but I found it so difficult using my left hand doing this that it didn't turn out the way I liked I, I still did like it but not as much as you know it didn't go the way I wanted it to go let's just put it that way so when I floated that over I'm going to cure it in the lamp when I'm um, when I'm happy with it. It would have probably been okay if I'd put it in the lamp quite soon but I spent a while messing about with it trying to get it right and then obviously because the blooming gels on there it did all sort of mix together a bit too much. So that is what it looks like when it's done and then I'm just going to get the no white top coat and I'm just going to top coat over that marble and then I'm going to put the no white top coat on the pinky finger as well because at the time I wasn't planning on doing anything to that nail. I do actually change it later on. So I put the top coat on there and then I'm getting the velvet matte top coat and I'm putting that on the middle nail because I was going to do some freehand nail art on the middle finger. I ended up not doing that so there was not really much point me putting that top coat on but never mind. Uh, we change our mind as we go along don't we sometimes. So on the pointer finger I am doing some freehand heart so I'm doing two dots of one of the polishes with my dotting tool. And then I'm using my, um, it's the long liner brush from Madame Glam. So I'm just using that to join the two dots together to make a heart. 
and then when I'm happy with that I cure it in the lamp and then I do that a few times with some of the different colour gel polishes until I've got hearts all over the nail. So I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, um, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell button and then that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. So you won't miss anything. So I will put links to everything that I've used in the video in the description box so that if you want to get these colours for yourself, you can do. And if you want 35% off Madam Glam, you can use my code, which is Sharon's Nails 35 and that's on the screen there for you. But if you do want a bigger discount, you can get 50% off if you become a VIP. And if you're in the US, that includes free shipping as well. So on the middle finger, I'm putting some rhinestones that I got from my latest Timu order. And yeah, I put those on off camera because I couldn't sort of stick them on and, and keep in shot at the same time. I just kept drifting out. So I just did that off camera. And then I'm top coating that uh, pointer finger. But I did go in off camera and I matte top coated the marble nails because I preferred them matte. And I also did some of the hearts on the pinky finger the same as the pointer finger so I thought that just tied in a lot better and I like the look of that better so here they are all finished what do you think do you like these nails I absolutely love them I'm so chuffed with them and I love these colours from this collection it's my favourite ever collection from Madame Glam it is brilliant I love it totally up my street totally my colours love it so let me know in the comments what you think do you like these nails if you did give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.